and from the uh, kind of practice stage, the younger guys to getting into bowl preparation? Well, it's kind of back to the normal grind, normal routine, uh, getting ready to work. Uh, we had a lot of good work with some of the younger guys and get a whole lot of reps this year. And, and today was the first day really kind of zeroed in on Rice, and I liked the, the guys' attitude. Came out, got a good day's work, great weather, perfect time to practice. Um, and, and we got some good work done. What did you think of the guys who got most of the work the last four days? Well, that's good. I mean, that, that's good for me because I get a chance to work with those guys, and I don't see them a whole lot. They're over there working on the scout team stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's good. I get a chance to coach Jordan Washington. I get a chance to see uh, Nick James. I get a chance to see John Harris and all those guys. So it's been good for me. How does Nick James handle his, his situation there? So once y'all convinced him that it would help him to go this year, sit out, and how does he handle that and bounce back? I, I think Nick's he's starting to mature, um, which is good. You know, he, he, he understands the situation he's in. He put himself in. Uh, and he, he can work himself out. So he's starting to mature. He's still got a ways to go, but he, he's starting to take some steps in the right direction. Coach, obviously, you're first year, so you really didn't see Caleb you as much at defensive end and move inside for you. Talk about his impact this year at defensive tackle and how that position moves kind of played. Well, Caleb, been, he, he's kind of been a grind guy. I mean, he, he's there every day. He's been hurt. He, nobody, he doesn't say a word. He just keeps going about his business. Um, it was a situation where we were just trying to get the four best guys on the field, and he's one of them. So uh, I, I think with his size, his strength, he's a pretty good technician. Um, it was a smooth transition for him. It was a rough first part of spring, but I, I think I told you guys, in the spring you could tell a big difference, and he's, he's getting more comfortable. And he's been a valuable asset. He's played some of the end for us. So uh, he, he's been able to handle that, and he's been kind of a rock-solid guy inside. Chris said he was still going to petition you to play some defense again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, there's no question. Uh, that's going to never end in soccer. So uh, I'm going to try to stick him out there some, just keep him happy. But uh, he, he, he brings a different dimension out there. I mean, he, he's a hard matchup for some tackles in terms of some speed and power. And uh, we try to mix him up and, 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 and try to create a mismatch with him out there at times. How do you help him kind of realize a young guy like that, highly touted, how do you help him realize that, hey, you might not like this right now, but it's, the, it's, it's for the best, it's the best for the team and for yourself. How do well, you help him realize you, that? You answer the question, it's best for the team, best for yourself. I mean, it's all about trust. And, and Chris is a young man, he, he wants to play. He, he has the right attitude. He says, coach, wherever I can help the team. And, and that's the attitude he's had, and that's the way he's approached it. So, um, and that's what he's a team player. For a guy, it was as highly recruited as he was. He came in, had the right attitude. He's starting to mature a little bit um, in terms of understanding the speed and, and what he has to do to get himself better. And uh, he's an unselfish guy. Having been around him for a year now, what's his ceiling? Oh, shoot. If I knew that, I mean, he, he doesn't have one. You know, he, he can be as good as he wants to be. He can be as good as he wants to be. He, he, he's big. He's strong. He's athletic. He's powerful. He's fast. I mean, he, he's, he's – I mean – He's a freak. He can be as good as he wants to be. He still thinks he knows a little bit more than I do at times, <laughs> but he's coming around on, on that. But uh, he, he's a coachable guy. He had, I think, today he had one of his better practices. And, and he, I, as a matter of fact, I asked him after. He said, Coach, I'm just trying to work and, and get better. So, you know, his, his mental approach has been good. He's still young. Uh, sometimes he gets tired and he lets that get, at, get to him. But uh, I like the way and the direction he's going. What have you guys. seen the biggest change between, say, now, like the, the best practice to, say, August? Oh, technique, no question. He, he's doing a better job keeping his pads down. He's doing a better job getting his hands up. Um, and he's working at it. He knows he's got to do that. You know, in high school, he can just overpower people. He can just go overpower people in this league. And uh, he's starting to work at it and get better. And those are the things that he's got to do to be a really good player, just fine-tune his technique. Get a five-star out there as well. But just talk about just kind of how y'all have gone from – Last year to this year, especially with Coach Turner out there, and just how y'all progressed. Well, last year we wasn't too much experience on the D line, so now everybody has a little bit of experience, you know. And getting a five star crew such as Chris, everybody, you know, is ready for him to play. So we all just want to, we all get around each other and become like more of a family. As not last year, we were more just trying to play and get a feel for the game. So it, then it comes with experience. We all out there playing. We all older. We all know what we need to work on. We all we know what we need to, what it takes to win the game. And we all just come out there each and every day to work. And we try and help the young guy like Chris, you know, get more focused and get him game ready and, and teach him how to, you know, look at stuff for himself to try and get better. It's a kind of a competition between the two of y'all to see you get, get more sacks. I think he's got like a half a sack on you right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I told him I'm get comfortable. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. But, uh, yeah, we, we all, as a D-line, we all trying to, you know, compete for, you know, the most of everything, every category. Like, he has the most sack. And, um, I try to come and compete with him every day. I tell him, I tell him, don't get comfortable. I'm coming next game. I tell him, next, if I ain't get one that game, I'm trying to get one next game to beat him out. 
and we just all keep on trying to work hard each and every game. The sack numbers have improved this year, but so have the tackles for losses. Were that kind of an emphasis coming into the season and just to improve those numbers from last year? Oh uh, yeah, it was emphasis. You know, to stop the run and uh, don't let nobody, you know, just be able to run the ball easily on us. They have to earn every yard they get. So we just try to stop the run the best way we can. We put a lot of emphasis on stop the run, so we try to get as many tackles as we can, not let them run up the gut on us. They have to you know, get the ball past us. So we, we try to just work hard to keep them from just being able to run the ball easy, so easy on us. So I think that probably improves the tackle for a lot of the on stopping around. Preston, your thoughts on the defensive line next year? Only Danico's graduating about next year's group. Uh, well, I feel like we're going to have the most experienced D-line, one of the most experienced line D-lines in the league. And we should. I feel like we're going to have the best, most skillful, talented D-line in the country. You still got one more game left, but you got a decision to make in the offseason. Or, or you, have you even thought about that yet? Or? Man, I'm going to focus on that when that time comes. I'm really focused on, you know, this last game. When that time comes, you know, if it came out to it, it's going to have to be a decision between me and my family. I'm not focused on that right now.